for the sign of Capricorn, hello and welcome to my channel for the sign of Capricorn. What is the overall love energy for the sign of Capricorn? Just remember the top cards that you see, they're paired with the bottom cards and the decks that I use for this reading. I'll have them listed in the description box below. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy. Between you and your person, we'll find out what's coming up for the two of you. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and your person, the Emperor, and it's with the Queen of Pentacles. Now the Emperor shows that domination over the mind, over the heart, is sometimes necessary even though it's not wanted. In fact, it should be welcomed and that's what you must think about when you get the Emperor in a reading because on hard choices, when hard choices have to be made, it's going to be important for you to maintain your concentration and focus. So the Emperor signals this, but he also signals that it's a time you'll find it easier to make hard choices. So enjoy the assertiveness, enjoy the confidence that the self-control and focus brings. Do what you know is best. Because if you can master yourself, then you'll have very little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life can throw at you. Yeah, so what did I just say? Basically, the emperor is a is a boss, a leader, really arrogant type. They, they don't really open their heart. They have a hard time showing emotions. They never want to come across as being vulnerable. So with that, you, you, you find it easier to make hard choices. Now it's with the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles can indicate that you could be spending money, time, energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. And this is a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt. Because people could be looking to you for insight, maybe some advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. It's a time period when you'll get a lot accomplished. So... Basically, what I'm getting, the recent past energy between you and your person. Yeah, Capricorn, you're, you're dealing with someone who, like I said, they, they have a hard time opening up their heart. Or they just don't do it. They don't show any emotions. You feel like this person is cold because they only use their head. And not their heart, so... Yeah, it's with the Queen of Pentacles. It's clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. So... Because... Because this person doesn't... Open up their heart to you. Or it feels that way. No expression whatsoever. You feel like... You feel like you get more, more satisfaction just being, just sitting in your backyard, soaking up the sun, being with your pets, feeding the squirrels. Yeah, you feel like you get more love that way, because that's what she's doing. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles, this card below the word pass. She's in the backyard. She's sitting in a lounge chair. She's got a little smile on her face because she's her dog is keeping her toes warm. The squirrels that they know her, they come by so she can feed them. She's got a huge pinnacle in her hand that she's cuddling. So she's got money in the bank. So she's... She feels like she gets more love in her backyard. Yeah, your person is... You feel like they're just so cold sometimes, or maybe all the time. 
Because the Emperor, they'd rather have you die wanting to know what's in their heart. Yeah. So we move on over. We take a look and see what's coming up. Queen of Swords with the Moon card. Now the Queen of Swords can point to a woman in your life and she's actually one that's not to be trifled with. She could have dark hair, dark eyes. It could go either way. Now, if this is not a person, it could stand for you to have to be forceful and honest in some situation just to get your needs met. So you might feel like, feel like you got to put your foot down. The Queen of Swords can indicate your instincts are serving you well. You already know what it is that you need, what you want. Now you just have to go after it. Very forceful energy in this Queen of Swords. And a lot of people will find this energy really abrasive. Now it's with the Moon card. The Moon card, you could feel psychic, intuitive, more than usual. So it's going to be important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful for you to realize that when, you, when this card appears, it's possible that all is not what it seems. If you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. So go with your gut instincts, and if you're waiting on an answer from someone, unfortunately, it could take longer than you would like for it to. So try to stay patient. So coming up for the two of you, Yeah, uh, Capricorns, you're feeling like your person is keeping secrets. You can start to feel that way. Because the moon card is about holding back. Something is hidden from you. You feel like your person could be wearing a mask. So, your thoughts are that you probably need to cut probably thinking that you need to cut this person out or that's what some of you are going to do you're going to cut them out because just not enough is known they just uh, they hold back it causes you not to trust the connection it makes you think there's deception yeah because this person just doesn't open up so you think this their secrets so, some of you are thinking about cutting this person out. Like I said, because you get more, you get more love in your backyard. So, we move on over and we take a look and see what's, the challenge is going to be. We've got the Ace of Cups. And it's with the King of Pentacles. Now, this Ace of Cups is very powerful. It's positive when it comes to love, happiness, and affection. It's about new beginnings, even though, well, although the, it usually means love, the Ace of Cups is an indicator of new beginnings in other areas of your life also. So things could be looking up. People could respond to you with love, goodwill, more than usual, usually, at, at this time. So, you... You could start to feel really good about life. Overall, it's a great time to make friends when you get the Ace of Cups. Now, it's with the King of Pentacles, which could be about success and money matters. Because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that means money, cash, coins, finance, income. When this card appears in a reading, it is a sign that now is really not the time to be a maverick. It's going to be the time to follow the established way of doing things. And when this stands for an actual person in your life, it can refer to a very masculine type. Could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum. If it's referring to a man in your life, just know that this is someone who you can believe and trust absolutely. Okay, so the challenge, Ace of Cups, clarified by this King of Pentacles. So, yeah, Capricorns, I'm getting that. 
there is love. There is love in this connection. And your person, they do want success with you. But you wouldn't know it. They, they, don't, they, don't, they don't express it to you. They don't open up. You wouldn't know it. This person has love for you. And they want success in the connection. They want to make it stable. They want to make it good. But you, you wouldn't know it. You wouldn't know that they have love for you and that they really want the relationship to, to work. Because they don't tell you. They don't open up. You just think that uh, they're secrets. So let's see what the outcome is. Ten of Swords and Queen of Wands. Now, Ten of Swords, it's a sign to be careful about where you put your trust when the Ten comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable. Well, it's a pretty clear answer of no, but you have to keep in mind whenever a door closes, Another door opens, you're being guided to a situation that's better for you. Yeah, so trust yourself and trust the universe. Now, it's with the Queen of Wands, which can refer to a woman. She'll have a lot of fire type of energy. She could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And when this is not referring to an actual person, it can stand for getting a lot accomplished. It could be focused on work or career. The queen is positive, uplifting energy. And when she does stand for actual person in your life, she's a good friend who is solidly on your side. Even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. And if you're trying to conceive and you get the queen of wands, this is a very positive sign. So the outcome for you, Capricorn, ten of swords, clarified by the queen of wands. So, yeah, like I said, you don't know it. I guess that's why I'm here, to let you know your person, they have love for you. They want this to work. They want the connection to work. And they want success with you. You've been thinking about cutting this person out. They don't open up. So it causes you to think that there's deception, secrets. Like I said, you get more love in your backyard with the squirrels and the dogs. And, yeah, you don't trust that the connection is stable with the Ten of Swords here. Or you could be feeling like it's ruined. You could, feel, you could be feeling like it's a flop. And the connection is a failure. That's how you feel. That's how a lot of you will start to feel, put it that way. But the Queen of Wands is here, so... Your person is determined about you. Yeah, you... But you wouldn't know. That's the sad part about it. You don't know all of these beautiful things or, or beautiful thoughts that they have about you and the connection. They're determined. They want the connection to work. And they, there's love here. They got love for you. And I'm getting that you got love for this person too. But because they're so closed off and they don't, they only use their head and not their heart. You just think that too much is is hidden from you. You feel like they're wearing a mask and you, you know, and you just don't trust that the connection could be stable. So for some of you, you're going to cut this person out. Some of you. Because the Queen of Swords, she, she doesn't have time. She just uses her sword and she's done with it. But yeah, your person, they they got a lot of emotions for you, and 
If you walked away, they'd probably come get you. Because the Queen of Wands is very determined. So that is the reading that I have for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Capricorn, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Capricorn reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also for these readings, keep in mind the roles can be switched. You could be them, or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, your person could actually be a friend. Could be a family member, or it could be a situation. So take the reading for however it resonates. I'm oh, sorry about the noise. Take the reading for however it resonates. Yeah, so let me get off this camera so that I can go s see what's going on. But anyway, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for, for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day. And take care. And take care. And take care.